All right, of course, all you OG Division hardcore agents out there know exactly where I'm at. You should recognize this street. This is Lexington Event Center, of course, on Challenge Difficulty. I figured, you know, let's get a live com in. I, it's that time of year. I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Happy Holidays. Make sure everyone's doing well out there. And uh, while we're doing that, I also wanted to feature a gear set that doesn't get much love. Uh, it didn't even when it came out, unless you really knew what it could do. And that is Firecrest. I'm running a five-piece Firecrest. I think I've got uh, Relentless Backpack, I think, for the healing. Uh, we've got, the, uh, of course, the Mini Seeker Mines and that turret from hell. Look at that thing. Just tear them up. Running twin LVOACs, Destructive Ferocious on both. I think one's got skill, maybe. One's got uh, talented. And we're just going to have some fun with it. But anyway, you can see with the gear I'm running, you can see how fast this thing will tear through the enemies, even on challenge difficulty. But more importantly, I just wanted to say happy holidays. A happy New Year to you. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there in the land of uh, Buzzdom. We... Uh, we kind of stayed indoors, if you know what I mean. Um, I didn't want to tempt the fates out there. I wasn't looking, uh, trying to go out there and catch something and then, uh, you know, have my own Spider-Man, Spider-Bite moment, if you know what I mean. So uh, we kind of kept it, kept it low-key. We stayed inside. Damn, look at this thing just tear through them. And uh, we had a, had a good old time. But you know what? January 4th, I think, today. It's time to get back to the grind. And I said, you know... Let's get in here. Let's have some fun with this. Is this dude trying to back rage? Get out of here with that. And, uh, yeah, Firecrest. Man, this was a nasty set. Not everyone ran it the same way that uh, I'm running it. You'll see what I'm trying to do with this here in a second. That's the way I play this. But essentially what I do with this thing is I run the five-piece. The six-piece bonus was kind of janky. I didn't really like it. It was like, I think, uh, enemies stay on fire for a little while longer i'm gonna set this up for the next spawn closet there and then there's something like um i don't know there's like a two percent chance to spread the fire to other targets look at this just tear them up oh my god drop the seeker mines we're gonna double up the pain here we're gonna make them bleed and catch on fire i'm not even gonna shoot just look at this holy hell <laughs> fire crest baby fire crest so much fun Pull down the turret. There we go. So anyway, yeah. Happy New Year. Still enjoying the division. I still go back into the division. Uh, I tweeted about it today. Uh, thank you to Lucipus, um, or UB Lucipus, um, for the, I guess what, the global event roadmap for the original division game came out. I retweeted it today. Got those global events coming in. This game still kicks ass five years later, almost six years. In March, it'll now be six years. Um, still going in, enjoying survival. Let's pop an emote for you. Play a little tune here. Still going in. I'm still chasing some of the commendations. There's one over on Underground. Uh, there's one for like sniper rifles, like 10,000 kills with sniper rifles. I'm getting pretty close to that one. So, you know what? I jog, you know, jog in, feel a little done, and enjoy myself. Maybe if you can leave me uh, a comment down in the video comment section. Watch this. Let's get them. Here we go. Seeker Mines. Let me make it over here. Anyway, maybe uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what games you were playing over the break. Um, I, of course, played some Outriders. Can't wait for World Slayer to come out. Uh, Outriders and the Outriders community has been really good to my channel. Uh, so I cannot wait to see uh, World Slayer come out. I was also invited over and played a bit in the World War III closed beta test. That's uh, currently over on Steam. It's on PC only right now. Uh, I did put a video out about that, so it's up on the channel. I think I put it up yesterday. Um, it's got some real potential. There's some some things it really has to sort out, but it's got potential. Uh, the customization system in it is wicked. It's uh, on par with, like, Tarkov. It is that good. Watch this. Should I even shoot? I'm going to just cook them. Yeah, I'll shoot them. Good lord. This turret is so nasty. I'm going to hit this guy with the Seeker Mines because the turret's not going to reach that far. We'll push this other one. So anyway, uh, put up a video on World War III, the closed beta. I enjoyed that game. That's supposed to be coming on out, uh, excuse me, March? 
I think it's March. Free to play in March. Hopefully it'll come on next gen. I saw some people hinting it was going to be on next gen consoles. That would be awesome, especially if we could go to crossplay, which I think every game should be crossplay these days. Uh, so anyway, played some Outriders, played World War III. Uh, actually been going back. Believe it or not, I never completed or played the original Resident Evil game. Wow. Uh, so I've actually gone back. I purchased it really cheap over on Steam. I've been playing it on PC. Uh, the resolution is a nightmare. but And I've been playing it with a controller because it's just such a weird game to play. But it's one of those Resident Evil games. You know, you got to remember where you were. you gotta got to fix, this. you know, and, and, and put the pieces of the puzzle together. Watch this. Here we go. Grab the water. I miss consumables in Div 2, by the way. Really miss them. Throw a send air grenade. These guys... We're going to have a Riker's Barbecue, baby. Look at that. Firecrest. Only problem I have with Firecrest is the turret just gets a little... It's it's really slow to react. But other than that, man, this thing is an animal. If I'm not mistaken, too, I think the destructive and uh, damage to elites... Um, excuse me, the enemy armor damage and the damage to elites all stack onto this thing. So it just makes it an absolute demon when it's firing off that dragon's breath. Oh, I love this emote, by the way. Yes. Busting out the robot. All right, we'll stop with that right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah. New year. We don't know really what's going on with the Division 2. Uh, I played a little Division 2 the other day. Actually uh, went in and, and played it. Still prefer this one. I'm not going to, you know, sit there and trash talk the uh, second iteration of this game, but still prefer this game uh, over Div 2. Actually tried to go into the DZ a little bit. Is this guy going to try and back rage? Get out of here. There go my Seeker Mines. So we're going to throw some heat on him. We're going to make him bleed. This one-two punch is just so overwhelming for him. Let me get over here. Grenade? Grenade? Yes. Here we go. Watch this incendiary grenade. Get some. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that just plays skill builds and just likes to sit back and just let the skills just chew them up. I love to shoot. This game is about shooting, right? So. Anyway, leave in the comment section below. What games did you play over the break? What games are you looking forward to, maybe? That may be a good one uh, as well. I'm looking forward to Dying Light 2. That's coming out soon. I'm looking forward to that. Um... Of course, I said World Slayer, which is the DLC coming for Outriders. Uh, I'd like to see whatever the new content is for this game, the new game mode, something. God, this flame turret is destroying them. So, hopefully 22, uh, 2022 is going to be better than 21, because I'm sorry, 21 sucked. All right, let's go. Yeah, nothing there. Anyway, hopefully... Uh, up here on this final part with Larray Barrett when you know she finally comes out of the balcony out of the closet if I can time it all so far, right so My I think with the, the firecrest gear set with the uh, dragon's breath turret if I can get an incendiary in there and maybe with the uh, the mini seeker mines we may have a chance of spawn locking them which would be awesome it's all got to work out right though so hopefully it'll work Look at the loot plumes coming up through the floor. The good old days, right? Yeah, it still does, but... All right, put that up there so they can't hit me. And let's go with this. There we go. There we go. So we got some bleed on him. Look, we almost chewed through the first one already. Oh, he's trying to hit his backpack. I hit him a little bit. I think the turret will probably take him out. I'm going to push up on this doorway. It's so crucial that I make it up on this doorway. All right, let's get up here. Let's go. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? All right, up there. There we go. Grenade. And now. Oh, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Get the seeker mines in on them. Yes. We got them. We spawn locked them. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Get some. You're not going to do that to me. You're not going to do that to me. You are toast. Done. Firecrest, baby. Fire freaking crest. It's such a great PvE gear set. I know some of you actually PvP with it. 
the which is gonna... intense. I don't think we're quite done with them yet, but at least yes, now we there we go. Let's bust out the dab. Love it. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. Man, this game still pops. Can't wait for the GEs to hit. I'm going to hit some more survival uh, during those GEs because those really amp it up. Especially when you're running in and taking on the NPCs to have a hell of a lot of damage with all those effects for the global events. Global events, in my opinion, done really well. Whereas, you know, it's what happened in this game, you know? Wow. Still loving it. I'm just, I'm shaking my head right now. You can't see it. I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, still, this game still pops. If we could have continued this, uh, I would have been a happy, happy, happy camper. So let me strike a pose here. But anyway, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section below. What games did you play over the break? Are you still safe out there? Are you, are you being careful? All those good things. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Remember, I'm always looking forward to reading your comments in the video comment section below. In case you haven't yet hit that sub button, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to receive those uh, upload reminders from my channel. If you'd be so kind as to rate and or share this video, that would also be greatly appreciated as it helps it get promoted within the YouTube algorithms. Don't forget to find and follow me over on Twitch as I am recently a full Twitch partner. You can also find me on Twitter as I post my thoughts on most things gaming related. And then I also have a really, really blossoming and hardcore uh, Discord community, over 4,500 strong over there. We, uh, we handle a bunch of different games, so you're all invited. Links to all of those platforms in the video description below. Until the next one, this is Buzz. Peace out.